Oh yes, gathering tools. Something that players enjoy whipping out to make some gold every once in a while. But did you know, you are probably using them wrong, even to this day. Allow me to tell you why. Gathering tools come in two forms, breakable and unbreakable. If you are using the breakable ones, then please, do yourself a favor and get a set of unbreakable ones. They are a true game changer. All you have to do is just open up the Black Lion Trading Company, whip out your credit card, and buy yourself a set of three gathering tools that includes a sickle, axe, and a mining pick. Or, if you are poor like myself, just use the gold that you barely have to buy gems. But wait, before you do, you actually have to make sure that you are getting the right set of tools. You see, gathering tools come with a slot called a glyph, and this allows you to actually get additional resources from every plant you kill, every tree you chop, and every piece of ore that, okay, ores don't have a life, mine away. So when buying your gathering tools from the gem store, keep an eye out for any glyph that might be already placed inside them. These are the tools that you want to get. Don't go for the ones that don't have a glyph, as these are items I would like to call traps. And ArenaNet has them there strategically, so we can suffer and feel bad about ourselves after buying them, and then noticing that they don't have a glyph. Now you might ask, which glyph and gathering tool should I go for? Well, I have the answer for you, my friend, and the most profitable gathering tool that you can get is the Infinite Volatile Magic Gathering Tool. And this gives you, the viewer, between 1 and 3 volatile magic every time you kill a plant, chop a tree, and mine an ore. You will then use this volatile magic to convert it to gold, something that every player in Guild Wars 2 lusts for, desires, and would kill for. If you want to convert that to gold, then you can buy trophy shipments and sell the results at the trading post. If you want an in-depth guide, then go check this video right here, you will definitely find it useful. Now, if the infinite volatile magic gathering tool is not on sale, which it's most likely not going to be, then you can try to find another alternative. For example, one that I would like to get would be the infinite elemental gathering tools that comes with a glyph of the tailor, glyph of industry, and the glyph of leather worker. But Magdaddy, you might ask, I already bought an infinite gathering tool before watching this video and it doesn't come with a glyph. Well, if you were a jackass like I was when I got my first gathering tool, then worry not my friend. You can still insert a glyph inside your useless tools. Just head over to the trading post and purchase the glyph that you want. If you're aiming for the volatile magic, then get the glyph of volatility. All it costs is a kidney's worth of gold. But I'm sure. You will get your golds back in a couple months time, so it's all worth it in the end. If you don't want to spend gold and would rather spend real money, I'm talking about this. Then you can pray to the RNG gods by opening black lion chests and hoping that they will get you a useful glyph that you can shove inside your gathering tools. Just make sure that you will need three glyphs, not one, but three, one for each tool that you have, so yeah. Sing. Oh, that's a... oh. <laughs> now let's talk about the people who are extremely poor. ArenaNet has an option for you guys as well. You can always buy volatile magic gathering tools using Karma. But they can be broken and this is similar to your and my wallet situation so nothing new here. Anyway, to buy them using Karma, simply head over to any of those NPCs I would personally go to this one right here in Dragonfall because I don't have to complete a heart in order to purchase the items. Now, doing some quick math, in my other video, I spent 60,000 volatile magic to get around 250 golden profit. So, considering we get two volatile magic on average from a single harvest, regardless if it was a plant, wood, or ore, doing the quick math, you will need 30,000 harvests. If we were just doing rich ore veins, then this means you would need 3750 rich ore veins to get 250 gold passively just from the volatile magic that you get out of the glyphs of infinite gathering tools. There you go, now you can get richer. <laughs>